Hello everybody, welcome to um, the first video I've done in a while, apologies for that, but um, doing videos during lockdown was a lot easier than doing videos while working in a classroom full time. Um, I apologise if the sound quality is off during this, the wind is very much up at the moment, we're going into another little storm, but you'll just have to bear with me. So, this is a video about how to answer TA questions for National 5 in the Scottish curriculum and in particular how to answer the eight marker which everyone finds very very stressful but is actually very straightforward uh, I'm Miss AB and let's get started so this is to go over how to answer the questions it is not going to tell you all of the stuff you need to know in order to answer the questions um, I've made a series of videos on the Norman McCaig poems so if you watch that and then watch this you will know the information and how to answer the questions but if you are doing a different text I'm afraid I can't help you with the subject knowledge um, this is, but this can be used for anybody answering on any text um, but I'll be using Norman McCaig as an example because that's what I tend to teach um, it is for revision purposes, it is, it is not in the stead of learning in a classroom it is not instead of learning with a teacher but if you have already covered this, this is just going to go over give you a brief overview of how to answer the questions so, the basics we are looking for bullet points, quote and comment or if you want to be extra super triple safety sure you can use teal structure to make sure that you are hitting all of those analysis points and making sure that your analysis has enough depth but typically we'd be looking for just quotation and commenting um so giving a quote and then commenting on it afterwards the eight marker is the final question it's the one that makes people jittery and for that you need to give two marks of commonality quote and comment the po from the poem in front of you and then quote and comment on other poems or from elsewhere in the text if it's not the poem that you are looking at so the first 12 marks um it because the, the ta in total is out of 20 the first 12 marks will be made up of three or four questions you need to be familiar with the poems even though you'll have one in front of you so you will have a copy or if you're doing if you're not doing poetry it'll be a section of the text you'll have it in front of you you read over it and you answer the questions you need to know the analysis the techniques and what they achieve what is the writer saying how are they doing it what does that do so example look at line six to nine by referring to one example of language explain how the poet gives a clear sense of the misery of the dwarf okay so if i was going to do this i would look at page at line six to nine this is obviously for a cc and then i would have to give the example of hold on just a second i need this uh, not being dead yet right and that's going to get me one mark for my quotation I'll do that with a bullet point and then secondly I am going to write yet suggests the dwarf will die this shows he is suffering and the only thing he currently has is his life right there are much much easier ones to take but because the lines that I was given there um, didn't leave me with much the start of that stanza there's way easier examples and in the exam they're not going to make it super difficult there will be multiple options you could have had dwarf with his hands on backwards sat slumped like a half-filled sack any of those things tiny twisted legs i could have gone through any of those but i've made this question up and i've clearly duffed it up so it's not giving me a, a heap of options in the exam you'll have a heap of options to choose from they won't corner you into making sure that you choose the one quotation that they are thinking of but that's the kind of thing that we are looking at if you are doing the teal structure you would just do the same except you would write t word choice e yet a right and then give the same analysis and then link to task explain what how that shows suffering it's the exact same 
onto the eight marker, which is probably what you clicked on this video for, because let's face it, quoting and analyzing you should be fairly familiar with, but the eight marker is the thing that trips people up. It makes people panic, even though the majority of it, six marks of it, offer the exact same thing you've done all the way through. It is not that complicated, but people panic, and I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't. So there are lots and lots and lots of ways to approach commonality. Um, I have seen other teachers explain it in completely different ways from the way I'm going to explain it here. They are not wrong. If your teacher has explained it to you in a different way, they are not wrong. Um, but this is the way that makes the most sense to me. And this is the way that the SQA put it up on understanding standards. So it's the way I'm going to explain it because it's the way that I see as the most straightforward. That does not mean it is the most straightforward and it might be that your teacher has explained it to you in a way that makes way more sense do that if that is the case a hundred percent um this is just the way that i would feel safest approaching it because personally this makes the most sense to me so this is the example that the sqa has given on the understanding standards website which you can access but it's very jargon heavy and it is designed for teachers not for students so if we just talk it through here, that makes more sense. So the commonality. McCaig explores human experience in Brooklyn Cop as he explores the themes of violence and the thin line between savagery and civilized society. Assisi as he explores the themes of poverty, suffering and the hypocrisy of the church in ignoring the beggar. Okay. So this is what the SQA put out as their marking. Commonality, the candidate was awarded one mark for in Brooklyn Cop, dot, 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 violence in the thin line between savagery and civilized society. The candidate was also given one mark for a CC themes of poverty, suffering and the hypocrisy of the church. So essentially they were given one mark each uh, for each portion of that commonality. Now, what I would argue is that you have to include the following you have to specify if, if you're going to do it this way you don't always have to do it this way like i say but this is what i would do you have to specify which poem you are talking about you then have to specify what specifically you are looking at you can't just say it looks at themes and then you have to specify how it goes about that so in brooklyn cop it explores the idea of violence and the thin blue and the thin line between savagery and civilized society it's doing three things it's saying this is the poem this is specifically the human experience and this is specifically where that is in the poem and again we have that for the second poem we have assisi we have poverty and suffering and then we have where is it it's the church ignoring the beggar we have the three things. And I think you're always looking to do three things in your commonality. You should always be looking for what have I been asked, which poem, and how specifically do they do it? So if it's talking about relationships, you need to say, this is where we are, this is the relationship, and this is how it occurs. If it's talking about imagery, this is which poem, this is what the imagery is, and this is what it's used for. Again, this is just how I would go about it. This is not like... 100% exactly the same way everyone would go about it and some people are much more vague and broad and general and they'll still hit the mark but I would be more secure doing it like this and I would feel more secure doing it like this but you have to get into all of that depth and detail okay now for the other sections this is the easy bit this is the bit we know and love so the exam poem this was the poem in front of them should the tissue tear? McCaig is comparing the violence of the city to a tissue. Just as a tissue can easily tear and break apart, so too can the rules of civilized society. McCaig explores a human experience as he describes the effect of established rules tearing apart. People who are innocent can end up immersed in violence. So a big, nice chunk of analysis there, beautifully going into this is the technique being used, this is what it means, this is what it shows about the human experience. The SQA said, the candidate was awarded one mark for the reference from the extract should the tissue tear. Easy, easy mark. And if you are missing that mark, then what are you doing? Just write quotations. And then the candidate was also given one mark for the comment, explores human experience as he describes the effect of established rules tearing apart. Remember, they're asking about human experience. This is a human experience. So they're, they're being given the mark. Then we have the other poems, and this is how they've structured it. Other poem, Assisi. They're making it clear what the other poem is because the marker has a marking scheme that says 
if they talk about a CC, this is what you need to be looking for. If they talk about this poem, this is what you need to be looking for. It's very vague marking scheme. So the more straightforward and the more clear that you can make it as to this is what I'm looking at, this is what I'm exploring, the better it will be for you and for the marker. You need to make it as easy as possible for the marker to find where you're going for. You're like, right, I'm trying to get two marks here for commonality. So write commonality at the top. These are my two marks. This is the poem in front of me. These are the other poems. These are the poems I'm looking at. Don't make them hunt and guess and try and do it because if they are feeling tired and a bit cranky, they can't. They won't give you the benefit of the doubt. They're not going to put a load, a load of time and effort into trying to sort of decode your weird structure that you've done. Just make it as straightforward as possible. So other poem, a CC simile. Sat slumped like a half-filled sack. McCaig is comparing the beggar to a half-filled sack. Just as it would be unable to hold itself upright, so too the beggar is hunched over. McCaig explores the human experience of the beggar who is suffering and witnesses how nobody offers to help him whilst on holiday in Assisi. The sibilance of the S gives the impression of the beggar deflating, like he's slowly giving up. Alliteration, metaphor, a rush of tourists clucking contentedly. McCaig is comparing the tourists to hens. Just as hens move quickly and loudly, so too are the tourists. Alliteration makes it seem as if they are um, taking pictures. McCaig explores human experience in the showcase of hypocrisy. The tourists are listening, but not taking in everything the priest is telling them. Um, yet the suffering beggar sits outside waiting to be noticed and helped. Again, loads and loads of beautiful detail, and you can see that almost teal structure. They've not bullet pointed it, they've not got the lettering down the side, but they've given us that that structure. They've told us what the technique is, they've given us the evidence, they've analysed it, and then they've linked back to the task. How is that? The, what is the human experience here? And they are getting four out of four. The candidate was given one mark for the reference from a CC sat slumped like a half-filled sack. The candidate was also given one mark for the comment how nobody offers to help him. That's the human experience that he goes through. A second reference from a CC was awarded for one mark, a rush of tourists clucking contentedly. The following comment was again given one mark, the tourists are listening but not taking in dot dot dot. There we go, four marks. That gets you eight out of eight. We're going to go through one together just as one final show um, so that you get a clear sense and you... It, it gives us an opportunity to talk it through while we do it. So, question 49 in this imaginary exam. I've made this up myself. Uh, by referring to this poem and to at least one other by McCaig, show how he explores human experience. It's that same question again, but we're going to pretend that instead Assisi is the poem in front of us, and then I'm going to choose a, a second poem. I'm going to go with Visiting Hour. You can pick any, because every poem here has a human in it. The only poem I think... That it would be foolish or that you could go really wrong on is if you pick basking shark and you try and explain how the shark has a human experience that would be the only mistake but we're gonna go through it together so for the commonality i would want to be looking at something like i don't want to highlight a pen i want a regular pen right in a cc mccaig uses imagery to explore the human experience of poverty and neglect, which is suffered by the dwarf. who is ignored by the priest and the tourists. In visiting hour, and I apologise for my handwriting, in visiting hour, McCaig uses Enjambment, alliteration, and word choice to explore the human experience
of loss and grief. When he goes to visit a dying loved one in hospital. Now, again, it's important to note what I'm doing here. I have got, let's go green. I have got the poem that I am going to look at. I have got what the specific human experience that I'm going to talk about is. And I have also got how he does it and who. So I've gone a little bit more in depth than even the one on the SQA, but I just want to be triple safety sure. I want to make sure that I am showing that I am an absolute expert on these poems. I know when he does it, where he does it, how he does it, and who's involved. Okay? And I've done the same on my second visiting hour. I've told you the techniques I'm going to look at. I have told you the human experience I am going to talk about. And I have told you how this is put across in terms of the, the plot. If you think of it as the plot of the poem or the plot of whatever it is you're talking about. It is about depth. It is about detail. And again, just like in essay writing, you're trying to show that you are an absolute expert in what you are being asked to look at. Okay. So that's my commonality. That would get me two marks. Now, I want you to imagine you're in the exam, you have a brain panic, and suddenly you can't remember two separate quotations from visiting hour that show loss and grief. But you can remember another one that shows you in, say, Brooklyn Cop, it shows human experience of uh, violence or threat. Or you can remember one from another poem, Basking Shark, that idea of revelation. You can remember something from somewhere else. What you can do at that point is explain a third, just stick in a third commonality, explain something else that goes on and just do it again. Because if your points do not match the commonality, you will lose marks for it. So make sure that your commonality is like an introduction to an essay. You've, you've told us what you're going to look at and what you're going to go over. Okay. Palm in front of us. I have got a copy of a CC in front of me right now. So I would like to talk about the poverty and I'm going to use my number one favorite quotation from a CC, which is the old ruined temple. I'm going to use a blue pen this time. And because I want to just demonstrate the teal in full, in full practice, I am going to put past the ruined... Oh, no, I'm not. What am I doing? You can tell it's a Saturday, can't you? Woo! Right, let's go. I am going to put technique metaphor. And my evidence past the ruined temple outside. Now, technically, did I need that entire quotation? No, I really, the metaphor is just ruined temple. But I like the whole thing because I like the context that it brings. You should always try and shorten your quotation to the smallest amount. Um, but I always try and remember past the ruined temple outside because that gives me a whole scope of things. I can do word choice with that. I can link it to what is actually happening. Right. The dwarf... Is described as a temple. Something which has beauty and value. Just as a temple is something which should be respected so too the dwarf has inherent value and deserves respect okay the word ruined shows, I don't know why that's glitching out, that he has not been taken care of and 
is physically damaged. This shows the experience of neglect and degradation which the dwarf suffers. Okay, if you are now thinking, wow, that was a lot. Yes, it was. Could I have got the marks quicker than that? Absolutely. But I am wanting to make sure I have done this to the utmost of my ability because I want to show you the very, very best example that I can think of. So the dwarf is described as a temple, something which has beauty and value. Just as a temple is something which should be respected, so too the dwarf has inherent value and deserves respect. Now, there's, there's a... Um, there's a bit of a redundancy there. I didn't really need that first line, but I kind of realized that I wanted to demonstrate the just as so too um, option for analysis as well. So you don't have to write both of those. If you, if I had just put just as a temple is something which should be respected, so too the dwarf has inherent value and deserves respect, that would be grand. The word ruin shows that he's not been taken care of and is physically damaged. This shows the experience of neglect and degradation which the dwarf suffers. Right, that is me showing a human experience. Next, poem from memory. And I said I was going to look at visiting hour and I said I was going to look at uh, enjambment and word choice. So I'm going to start off with uh, T and I am going enjambment and I am then going to say I will not feel. I will not feel okay so the slash is there representing the line ends um mckaig uses enjambment to highlight the words feel and not He is extremely determined to repress the emotions which he finds overwhelming. Link to task. This shows the extreme levels of emotional pain he feels at the death of his loved one. Again, I've already explained that this loss, this grief, is the human emotion that I'm looking at, so I don't have to say which is a human experience. I did that in the commonality, so this bit is now just me relaying it. This shows the extreme levels of emotional pain that he feels at the death of his loved one. Right. Did I give myself more space? No, I didn't. Obviously, that's not enough. I need a second point. So I'm going to erase, 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 erase. I'm then going to use technique and I said I was going to look at repetition and word choice as well. I've already looked at the repetition in, um, well, I've looked at the enjambment rather than the repetition and I will not feel, I will not feel until I have to. So now I am going to look at the word choice and we are going to go with fruitless. Are we? Yeah. Uh, word choice. See, I don't pre-plan what I'm going to write for these, and I maybe should have to make myself look smarter, but I think it's better to, for me, for, to have me kind of waffling and thinking through it. So, fruitless fruits. Now, if this was me in a real exam, I would go back and I would cross out the word word choice and I would write oxymoron, um, because that is what this technique is. But I'm not going to get told off for having it be oxymoron if I can it c correctly explain that the word fruitless shows that he is very upset. So, fruitless 
shows McCaig recognizing the futility of the kind gestures of bringing food to those in hospital. Okay. He has reached a level of acceptance, but this comes with a miserable bitterness. McCaig has um, finally allowed his feelings to hit and acknowledges his helplessness in the face of death. Now again, would it have been better if I'd have chatted about how that was an oxymoron and that shows like the strange situation he finds himself in? Yeah, maybe, but will I still get the, the mark for saying that fruitless fruits, the word fruitless shows that it's pointless and that that shows that he's got this kind of bitter, miserable ending and he's feeling very pessimistic? Absolutely. There are more than one way to skin a cat. There's more than one way to answer the eight marker and there is more than one way to analyse most quotations and word choice is always available when all else fails you. Um, which it does on a Saturday morning in the wind quite frankly. Right, so that is the eight marker. I have absolutely done it to death. I have absolutely made it as complicated and gone in at it as hard as possible. Do not stress if you're thinking, well, I can't analyze like that. I'm just going to do a quotation and then analyze it by just saying this suggests this shows. Great, fantastic, do that. Do it as well as you can. So remember, at National 5, you get marks for quotations. You won't at higher, and there is a 10 marker at higher. But for right now, you do, so use them. Three out of eight is for quotations. Get them down. So marks for quotations, marks for analysis. Analysis can be memorized. If you can memorize ruined temple, metaphor, shows this, suggests this, do it. And key quotations should be memorized. Um, for whatever your text is, there are a certain number of quotations that you should know from the whole range. So if your text is a novel, you should know some from the start, some from each little section, all the key areas of importance, because it's vital that you can relate these to other sections, um, other poems, and that you know the whole range very, very well. So those are the key points to remember for the eight marker. Good luck. I hope this has helped. I would say leave a comment if it hasn't or if you have any questions, but the comments are turned off because this is educational and this is YouTube and this is made for young people. So I apologize for that. Um, but if I teach you personally, then feel free to email me. And if I don't, um, email your teacher and say, I watched this video and I still don't get it. They'll blame me and that'll be fine. So good luck and I hope this helped. Bye.